Hey guys, thanks for joining and welcome to this week's episode. Uh, before we start, I just want to say a massive thank you for all of you who have joined this little community. I'm so glad you are on board. So thank you very much. And for this week's episode, uh, this dish is dedicated to Josh and Kaylee from Expats Everywhere. Thank you guys for this opportunity and I'm waiting for you guys to come to Lisbon so I can cook for you all. <laughs> So for this week, it's going to be the continuation of using the same basic Malay spice but this time I'm going to make a vegetarian stir fry dish. Um, before we get into that, uh, when you think of Asian vegetarian stir fries, you usually would think that you know using garlic, some Chinese vegetables, oyster sauce, hortin sauce and so on. But for the Malays, it's a bit different. It's a bit of a different approach in that sense. So for today, we're going to use the same spice paste but this time we're going to get other vegetarian elements into the dish. So remember I mentioned about how Malay cuisine is a bit of fusion before the word fusion came along and this is one of the prime examples. But before that, let's get started with the spice paste and this, to, this is to benefit for those people who haven't watched this, uh, the previous episodes. So for the basic spice paste, what you will need is some chilies, some bird's eye chilies. If you're not into spice, you can omit the bird's eye chilies, some galangal or ginger if you don't have galangal in your part of the world, onion, lime leaves, garlic, lemongrass, turmeric powder, and shrimp paste. Now for the second part is the vegetable element. We're going to use three different types of vegetables uh, and this is not native to the Malay Peninsula area. So uh, first, we're going to need some tofu, which is a very Chinese influence. Next, you will need is the tempeh. Tempeh itself originates from Indonesia, and it has been quite a, you know, one of those best kept secrets for quite a while. And now, a lot of vegetarians are eating tempeh because the texture is quite different. So if you guys don't know what tempeh is, tempeh is fermented soybeans. And for the final ingredient, you will need some green beans. This interestingly originates from Peru and South America and what you want to do is to cut this in Julian style. So there you go, all the ingredients are not native to the Malay Peninsula and this is quite interesting. Uh, traditionally, I remember growing up uh, having the version, this version with prawns uh, but as I you know, grew up and later on I noticed in restaurants and food courts they tend to serve this without the prawns and I guess it's partly to uh, cut costs, to save some costs but nevertheless it's still good, you can add prawns if you like or without prawns for the vegetarian, that's also alright so guys, before we start cooking, I thought I'd like to tell you how to approach in cooking this dish properly so first thing you will need is to uh, slice your tofu and tempeh pieces into squares or similar size next, you will need to slice your green beans julian style followed by cooking all these ingredients separately. So what I actually will do is I'll cook the tofu first. That will take about 7 to 10 minutes. Next will be the tempeh. And finally, I'll cook the green beans. Now, before you start thinking this is going to be laborious and going to take quite a lot of time, there's a method to this madness. The reason why is that tofu and tempeh, they cook at different uh, times. And also with the green beans and if you were to add all the ingredients together like as if it was a Chinese stir fry it will fail, it will not be right so I want to make sure that you guys get it right and don't you know put in the comment section that it's good, it's not didn't work for you guys so guys talking about all of this is making me hungry and I cannot wait to try it so without further ado let's get started
today you guys this is my sambal goreng it is smelling really good in the kitchen and i cannot wait to try this out so guys thanks very much for watching this week's episode i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to hit like subscribe and the bell it's me saying goodbye i'll see you guys again soon take care ciao ciao